Hey everyone, it's Sue here, Scrappy Doo Sue. Uh, today I thought I'd make some, use up some um, trash and make some tags to go in my floral journal that I'm making. Um, so this is one I made earlier and this is just a tag that um, I've layered up stenciled book page fussy cut out of um, different um, fussy cut sheets and books scraps of material and label and some fibers to top it off on the back I've put um, some journaling paper this was just this color it has a big hole already in it, it was a tag that came with some craft pack I think that I, I ordered on Etsy and I thought I'd keep it because it's a nice strong card so that's a floral theme there I think those are nasturtiums so that's what we're going to do today so I've got three old tags here that I've kept um, they've already got toppers but we'll probably change those I think um, so I thought maybe we won't change that one. I don't know. Maybe um, thought we could we could cover these up today and see how we get on. So I've got all sorts of um, scraps out of paper, scraps of paper here that I haven't used um, that we're going to use on it on the project. Um, so there's all sorts of scraps there. I have got a box of fussy cuts that have come out of books in various places. I mean, that's out of one of the um, Edith Holden style books. It's not an Edith Holden book. And these are just um, fussy cuts, of, um, digital ones. I mean, these are out of the same kind of um, Edith Holden style book. Uh, so I've got various ones out, but I've got the box out, so if I need to get something else out, then we can. So I'll use some vintage photos, I'll get that out ready as well. Um, I think that's it, so hopefully you can see me okay. So let's start, we'll start with one of these, this one here I think. Um, yes. So I think I'll take the topper off anyway before we start. So it's just an old tag. This came from Amazon. It was from my uh, one of my consultants on the Christmas present he sent to me. So um, I thought, well, I'll keep that because it's a nice, strong card. It's in a nice shape, you know, um, and we can cover it over. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to cover the back with something that we can use as a journaling spot. So I'm going to find some um, bits of scrap, bits of coffee dyed paper, um, that, and even the edges of book page that you don't use can be used for your journaling spots. So I'm just going to layer them up. Let's find a different different piece so it looks a bit different. So we've got a piece of coffee dyed paper, that's tea dyed, coffee dyed, and this is just the edge of a book page. So I'm going to just get my glue and I'm going to stick those down. So we use some art glitter and so all I'm going to do I'll just tear off this bit, tidy that up, and I'm going to stick it to the edge like that, and then we'll trim it off. So that is what I'm going to do. So I hope you're doing all okay, all of you. Um, thanks for coming and popping into my channel. I do appreciate your support. Um, have you all been busy and if you have what have you been doing let's get my glue book out just because we've got glue here 
So I'm just going to cover that one over with that. Let's uh, just tear that down. So um, just giving it a light gluing. Yeah, so what's everyone been up to? Crafting wise and other things. I can't believe that we're um, already coming to the end of January. Let's find a tall piece. I've got one. I mean, it doesn't seem like five minutes ago we were scurrying around looking for Christmas gifts and things and now you know we're coming to the end of of January um just doesn't seem possible to me it really doesn't time flies so I'm just going to take that piece and hmm We don't want to use all of it, so I just bend it over so I've got that crease and then just tear that down. We can use whichever bit we want, so I think we'll probably pop that on like that. So I'm just covering the back for a journal spot. I hope you can see it because I've adjusted my phone camera. I brought it down a bit lower because I've kind of made a few adjustments to my desktop. And um, I didn't want too much kind of in view of the camera, you know, what's on your desk. <laughs> Don't want to see what's on the desk, really. One day, I'm going to have a sort out of this craft room and just waiting for my husband to put another little like desktop together. But I've been waiting patiently now for about, oh, I don't know, two, three months. <laughs> He's always got something else he needs to do. And then I want to have a good old change round of furniture and what have you, because we've got a wardrobe in this room because it is our spare room um i want to move that across the other side we've got two bookshelves so that is our journal spot on the back just made from scraps okay right so this bit here i think we're going to decorate so i thought it'd be quite nice maybe if we use some um I've got a scrap of dictionary page here. That would be quite nice to use. Um, just looking for words are on it. Making sure. Uh, I don't know if I like the that too much. Let's use this music scrap of music paper. So I think I'm going to cover the whole of the front with that. So let's just put some glue down on this. It's not shiny but it's got sort of a semi-glossy surface. So just um, always have to, yeah, I always have to look and make sure it's up the right way for some reason. So, it's just the way I am. So, I'm just going to put that down on there, like so. Give that a press down. And then trim that off. Very quiet here today. My day off. So 
so it's been quite nice. I took Paddy Dog out this morning and done some housework as you do. <laughs> right, so that is. I give that a press down all around. Okay, so that's a nice sort of background. Just going to go around that with some vintage photo now. And we can remake the hole in it when we finished. Yes, so the camera's a bit lower than it usually is. I'm thinking of um, finding another way of filming my uh, videos because I, my phone, which is a Samsung Android keeps on saying it's run out of storage and then won't upload stuff um, straight away because it says it hasn't got enough memory to do it. So I'm going to now use a stencil, I think, and I'm going to stencil the back just to add a bit more interest to this. So let's find a nice stencil. Um, all right, I've got some actually just move the this out of the way. I've got some out, so I think maybe we'll just use the Tim Holtz flourish and I'm just going to I think stick with my rustic wilderness that I've used before. I used that on the background of this one it's not too kind of in your face it's just there subtle bit of background um added interest really so i'm just looking for my dobber for the green i'm sure i've done with that now had two dobbers here where have they gone i've got one where did the other one go? Ah, I have to take that one off because that was blue. I'm sure I've got a green one handy. If I haven't, then I will use a different one. So I keep the dobbers, the dobber heads in here, the sponges that I've used. So I'll just get those out. Because the one I want naturally is right at the bottom of the jar, which is typical, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so obviously I've used that one on this particular pad before, ink pad. So it goes back in there. That's just an old spice jar from the spice shelf that we didn't want anymore. So... As with most crafters, don't really ever throw anything away. It's not good really, is it? It's hoarding. <laughs> A nation of crafting hoarders we are. Global. <laughs> okay, so I like that. So that is enough. Don't want it to be too too dark okay so now i'm going to pick out a flower to go on it so i've already got these fussy cuts out which i thought would be quite a nice size so there, there's some sweet peas let's see what else have we got this one here quite nice but then the hole's going to be there isn't it so um let's have a look at this one because i can take some of that out so that would be that's quite nice that one i quite like that just going to Up around this bit um, I'm not 
not sure I want it to have a torn look for what I want to do with this. So, so some I just sort of tear around and keep. If it's a page that I've used something else on, and um, it's just a bit of a torn page with not with this on, and that's all that's left, I'll just keep it, you know, and fussy cut it out a bit better later on. So I'm just going to cut that down because I know it will be too tall anyway. So we'd have that there. Where's the hole? The hole is going to be, oh, I can see there. So we could have that here and maybe this one up here would be quite nice. So I'm just going to cut the bottom off. Yeah, so I was saying, I'm thinking of, I don't know, getting, buying a camera or something that I could solely use just for the YouTube. So I'm going to have one sort of coming up like that and one, one there, I think, because they are the same plant. So I think we'll have to cut that bit off and have them like that. So that looks quite nice. So I'm just going to lightly go around them with a vintage photo just to define the edges. Yeah, somebody recommended maybe um, buying an iPad or something similar. So I don't know, I might save up for one think that might be easier one that you can you know bluetooth your videos over to your laptop or something like that okay let's stick those down i think do we want something in the background so let's have a think um let's find some scraps of material Lots of bits of scraps of material here. Um, could have a scrap of book page, maybe. Which I will tear around. Perhaps like that. There, I don't want the thing is with book page, you've got to be careful of all the words, haven't you? And let's see what else have we got? We have got a nice little bit of dictionary page there. We could just make a tiny little collage in the background, perhaps. Something like that with something else maybe behind it. We've got some dark, darker music page. So it might be quite nice just to have that there and these coming out. And then maybe we'll put some, there's a scrap here of, material but I don't think it shows up very well so we won't use that what else have we got it's got so many scraps scraps of paper scraps of material scraps of lace really tiny little scraps really um Nope, don't feel that at all. I think we'll stick with the collage. So I'm just going to 
ink crown these. It's a good way to use up your scraps really and a good way to make nice um, tags and things out of what essentially is rubbish. You know, it's just that when we get anything with a lay a tag on it, I do have a look and see and I think, you know, do I want to keep that one? Is it nice enough? And often it is. So, um, I think it's quite nice to, to keep them. I'll just give that some glue. And just pull that and that back up in the next time I'm going to put that behind. So I just kind of pop it in like that. Okay, and we're going to stick these down, aren't we? We're having them like kind of like that. These are the books that are sort of um, the Country Diary, Herbal Book, um, Butterfly Garden and that. So they're not actually the Country Diary books. They're just kind of um, in the style of and do have some of Edith Holden's pictures in. But not, not, not too many, just a few. Okay, so we've got that. So now I want to put a nice label on. So we've got some words here. Let's have a look. What we got? We have some here, these ones, which are more for gardens, um, which I thought would be nice. So we've got picking poses you could use that one that's a nice one I don't always fussy cut all my things out I have kind of phases of fussy cutting you know take it all downstairs and sit in front of the TV maybe or something and fussy cut it all out Oh, that was the green. I suppose I could use green to go around it, but I'd rather use the vintage photo. So I thought we'd, we'd have that down there, picking poses. We could actually have that on a piece of... I mean, I've got scraps of this cotton. See if I can rip that. It doesn't rip very well. It's like cheesecloth, and you can cut it and then fray it like that. So we could have that underneath here. Just like that be quite nice so I think I'm going to do that so I'm just going to put some
blue round there. I just realised I brought a cup of tea up with me. I bet it's cold now. <laughs> I always forget. Once I start crafting, I forget to drink tea and coffee. And here's the label. So picking poses. It's quite nice. I'll just get the cropper dial. And we'll make a new hole in here. There it is. That's it. Okay. So all that needs is a topper. Um, We'll look for something afterwards. I don't want to put the original back in. I don't think it will go. So that's that one. Okay, let's take this off. That one. And we we'll cover the back with something to write on. Another scrap here. So this one's much thinner, so I can use the glue stick, I think. A nice piece of coffee dyed paper there, that would be perfect. sticking so okay let's cut around that one oh gosh using glue stick is Oh, this is going to be very sticky. Let's wipe the excess off this side before I start cutting because otherwise my scissors will end up in a mess. So I'm not advertising. I'm trying not to anyway. Just a clothing tag. Okay. Ooh. So that's our back. Okay. Okay. And on the front. Let's see, just pop that there. Um, on the front, let's do something different. Let's have some of this paper. Perhaps I should have covered up that name of that clothing brand i don't know i'm not sure how what the rules are okay so let's 
do for this one we've got this nice flower here which is heather actually that's very nice and we could put that on the background of some of this nice green silky material cut a piece of that out I like to fray it if I can. Let's have a look. How much do we need? I don't know if I can. I'm not sure if this is going to tear down or not. I'll just tear a bit, a bit more than I actually. No, it won't. A bit more than I actually need in case it frays too much. But I didn't cut that very straight. Look at that. My hands are a bit shaky today. I've got problems with my thyroid again. Add to everything else that's going on. <laughs> oh, the joys of getting old, I think. That's what I think this is all about. <laughs> oh, I hope you're all okay. <laughs> it's just there's a too many bits sticking off that so okay <laughs> this is really hairy <laughs> okay so I am going to stick that down there I think maybe we'll cut that at the crease there Right, so I better not try and rip it because I don't think it likes being ripped. So we just cut that off and fray that a little bit. <laughs> like that. And we can pop that down. So I'm just going to put some art glitter because it does stick thin materials. And put that down like so. Okay, I like that. And then we'll give this a quick going round with vintage photo. husband's due home soon he finishes work early on a Friday so if I have to stop the video you know why okay let's pop that down does anyone else think that they make better things when they're off camera than when they're on I don't know. I always seem to have better ideas off camera. <laughs> right. Let's hope that stays stuck down. That's pretty. I like that. We're going to put a hole in it. Find the original hole. Which is about there. And I'll use the smaller hole. So, let's trim that down. That's, I didn't trim that edge. Go around here. Okay, that looks nice, I think. Right, I think I'm going to just put a word up there. I'll just turn that over. Okay. Um, I've 
we've got the word beautiful we could put up there. What else have we got? Some of these don't. These are junk with Steph labels. I wanted a sort of a small word really, I didn't want a long, something too long. So we've got beautiful, we've got joyful, we've got inspiration. What have we got on these? Sunlight. Spring, winter, summer. Um, daydream. Inspiration. I like sunlight, actually. Let's take that one. Where is it? I think my scissors need a clean. They're a bit uh, stiff now. Yeah, the only problem I have with cutting these is if I don't think they're straight, I'll start cutting it all and end up with nothing. Okay. So that's that one. So we could put that there, I thought, and we'll put it on the background of something like, um, let's see, something's going to show up. Um, maybe a bit of music paper, this back bit. I like the colour of this. So I am literally using tiny scraps. Which side is best because you end up covering up the music. We could put that there. That would be nice. Just take a tiny shaving off there oh, it's so nice to have peace and quiet so if I put that there and have that a bit higher up I think that would work. Okay, let's put some glue stick on that one. Oh left the pin out didn't I for too long I thought that it was too good to be true that it was working fine every time so old Paddy knows I think that possibly daddy's just come back come home rather right I think we'll have that in the middle okay so that's that one, it's quite pretty I think, and get rid of all this, okay just pause you, okay yeah that was her husband, so right, going to cover this with some glue stick, and back again I'm going to cover in some
scraps of paper suitable for journaling on. So, so if we look at the top of here, you know, you can always use use that edge if it's tall enough. And that's that is an edge off of the book, the same book. So I'll try and overlap it a little bit. And pop that on there. Like so. Okay, I have to hold my hand over that, I think. Oh dear, might, might get myself into trouble, mightn't I? Although it's rather, they shouldn't worry too much, the company, because I'm advertising them free by the looks of it. <laughs> okay, that's that done. So that's the simple journaling spot, and we'll just cover that over for a minute. And let's have a look now. We've got. some nice paper a scrap of a nice digital paper here if we use that um, maybe more of the green it's quite bright isn't it what flower shall we put on there I suppose we could put that that's quite nice that or this probably A look in my box and see if there's anything else. So this is my box of bits and pieces, floral, flora and fauna, I suppose you'd call it. And oh, I like that one. That's that's like a primrose, isn't it? It's a. Uh, see how big this is first. Um, I'm trying to think the name of it now. Do I want that bit of paper now? I don't know. You see, this is where time ticks away because you're looking for something. Um, just have a quick look, see if there's anything in here more suitable. So those are pretty bells, aren't they? Bit big. Uh, so yeah, so this is my box with all sorts in it. And that's quite pretty. I do like that. But it's going to come off the side. Um, uh, now, this is pretty. That's very pretty, that is. For a floral tag. I don't like to cut them down too much more than they already are. They're just funny shapes, some of them. Uh, have a quick flick through. I'm not going to spend too long. There's another one. Mm. Else is there quickly. So they're from various books, various digitals, you know. very pretty it's sort of a bell a flower um, maybe we'll I don't know that we'll use this as a background actually a bit too 
bright perhaps let's see what else have we got we've got some book page we can put it on we've got a nice piece of book page page here I want something to go behind that, so I'm just going to look for another scrap of something. So I've got a scrap of a digital here. Put that down first. Uh, see, I take too long to deliberate over things <laughs> about that. Maybe not the book page then. This is just a scrap of digital paper. Um, I did want to stick a plant on there. But I wanted something else. I'll just have a look in my scrap folder now. I'm thinking about using some of this paper now instead because I want something bright. Let's put some of this on. I'm just going to step it down. On here. I'm trying to cover the name up. I should have thought about covering it with a label or something. I didn't think, I didn't get anything out, so I don't want to take too much time up. This is called the straw paper, I think. You can um, buy it from Julia at um, Camellia Craft Designs. That's her Etsy shop name. She sells all the lovely eyelash trim as well as nice packs of craft coloured envelopes, all various sizes, which are really handy in your journals. So... I am trying to rush a bit now uh, because I I'm, I'm, don't want this to be very long. So we go around the edge. And this is what we wanted on it. I still think it might be a bit big. I still think this might be best. Yeah, I think that would be better after. It's a job to know, isn't it? You know, um, I'm an off sometimes over things. Okay, we'll use that then and that. And... Maybe we will still put a little bit of this behind, I don't know. I just like layering things up. Whether that's going to make much of a difference, we could put that over there. Maybe we will use a scrap of this dictionary page as well. I 
quite like that. And what else have we got? Oh, we've got this scrap here. That's quite nice. Let's just tear that straight edge off. Right, let's go around these with some glue right over there so we will put this on down first edge better down there and then we'll pop this over the top like this like so and this time I think we will use we'll use a label from the label box a label or a number would be quite nice one do I like the best? I quite like a labelling with the green background, you know, the green edging. I must print some more of these off. They're so handy. These are Tracy, mainly Tracy Fox labels. Green's too big. I've probably used up most of the smaller ones before these type projects. Let's see. It's the one hiding down the bottom, so hmm. District or exchange. Hmm. Or a number. What is it to be? Of course, I don't separate mine out into big small, medium and all of that like some people do. I suppose that might be the easier thing to do but um, I don't want to be looking in more than one place at a time really. So what do I think about a red one? Um, that's quite, so it's going to be either that one or the number. I'm going to go with the number with the number and we will see if we've got a scrap of something. Just 
took this scrap doesn't really show up though. What about I cut a scrap out of here that's not patterned with colour? Uh, and a piece with the script. This is the material I used on the front cover of the floral journal. I haven't finished the cover yet. It's a work in progress. So let's go around this and see what, whether that makes a difference to the way it looks. I'm going to pop that down. I'm not going to think about it too long, for too long, because I have fibres now everywhere. Huh. Okay. the lid back on my ink and the pin back in here and what I'll do is I will find some toppers off camera and you will see them when they go into the floral journal let's just make the hole in this just like that Okay, right, let's move everything away. Bring these back. I'm thinking of putting that down there. For some reason I want to feel that that's what I want to do. back in. It's quite like a number down the bottom on that one. There. I think that looks better. Sometimes when I put them in the journal, in pockets and things, I do add things to them anyway. So let's just have a look so that was my prototype that I made and that's out of an old tag there and then today out of scraps I've made an out of old clothing tags I've made these three tags and I'll just stop the camera find some toppers and come back I've done that um so I've just again I've just used scraps so I've got, you know um, and you can add something else through these if you want to that one's very twisty um, so um, they don't all have to be the same either but when I was looking for the topper I found some nice thin uh, cream colored laces kind of crochet laces these this one and this one and I thought we'll add a bit of lace to them I wanted something to go up there, I think. So I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna stick a bit of lace on now, and um, to finish them off, I think. That would be quite nice. And I'll wait for them to dry and then trim them off.
I think I've put that upside down. Maybe I need to turn that round. Like that, that's better, I think. Okay. Um, goodness me, I'm getting into a pickle. Okay, let's put some of this down the side of this one, I think. This one here. So, cut a piece off. Some, I hope this will stick with this art glitter. If not, I'll have to go over it with um, the Beacon 3 and 1. But that's quite nice with the bit over the edge. I think it just finishes them off. And let's have a look at this one. So we'll use this one, I think. I like this pattern. take that piece off because it's very crinkled and I thought it could go down the bottom here so I just put a little bit on here I think this is there a right or a wrong way I never know <laughs> some there is and some not so that just finishes that off, I think. It's got a lot of interest on it, that one. And let's see, this one, where should we put some? Uh, I haven't got too much room, so... Could just put a bit down there. Um... This open weave one's nice now. I shouldn't have put the number on, should I? What about if we... Nope. Maybe we won't put any on this one. Let's just pop a bit. Mm. Okay, let's pop a bit maybe next to the number there. Fibres everywhere. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can trim that off now. Pin the glue. That one doesn't need trimming. It just needs a tiny bit of there. And this one also needs a tiny bit off. I do work in a mess, I do. So, there we have them. My three tags all made out of trash, really clothing labels so i hope you enjoyed that and i'll see you again soon but it gives you an idea of what you can do with some things that you might throw away so speak to you again soon take care bye bye